Hey guys, welcome to Tropical Flower Gardening. I'm Dr. Manisha. Guys, today's video is on the red ginger plant. This is a wonderful tropical flowering plant which blooms throughout the year and needs very little care. The flowers are very pretty, long lasting and make fantastic cut flowers and are often used in flower arrangements. It's a perfect plant to grow even for a novice gardener. The red ginger plant is a native of Malaysia and is also known as ostrich plume, pink cone ginger due to its bracts which are stacked together in a cone-like shape. The botanical name of this plant is Alpinia purpurata. Apart from red color, it is also available in pink and white color. This plant does best in semi-shade which is great because most flowering plants need a good amount of sunlight to flower. But with this plant, 1-2 to two hours of sunlight is sufficient for flowering. It grows well even under a tree where it receives dappled sunlight. It also doesn't get much affected by heavy rains and continues to do well and flowering even in rainy season which is a good thing because in the rainy season there are hardly any flowers in the garden but these lovely flowers keep my garden cheerful. Grow the red ginger plant in a well draining and fertile soil. The water requirement of this plant is average. It is also not a heavy feeder. I give it organic fertilizers regularly just I give it just as I give it to all my plants. So cow dung manure, wormy compost, neem fertilizer and compost are given every 2 to 3 months to this plant. This plant blooms regularly throughout the year in the warm and humid tropical climate and at any time of the year there is at least one flower on the plant. The actual flower is quite tiny, inconspicuous, whitish in color and is covered by brightly colored conical bracts which may be red, pink or white in color. The flowers are mildly fragrant and attract pollinators. The leaves of this plant are long and shiny and the combination of these vibrant red spikes against the backdrop of green leaves makes a spectacular combination and I often use the, these flowers along with the leaves for Christmas decoration as it goes so well with the Christmas colors. Flowers last really long, often for days and few weeks. Do remember to cut off the dry flowers from the base of the stem. This will divert the energy from the underground rhizomes to other rhizomes to make new plants and new flowers. Also chop off the dry leaves and dry stems to improve the overall appearance of the plant. Propagation of this plant is easy from the underground rhizomes. The older flower bracts often grow new plantlets making the flower spikes heavy and when they bend and touch the soil the roots are formed on the plantlets and this is another way of propagating this plant and you can see in this clip the older flower spikes have developed the new plantlets these tiny tiny plantlets which you can see are developed from the flower spikes themselves the red ginger plant is quite resistant to pests and disease this plant is an excellent choice for landscaping as it grows well and flowers even in semi-shade conditions. You can even grow this plant as an indoor plant in a big container. Guys, some nurseries have started keeping the dwarf variety of this plant which is perfect for growing it indoors. Make sure to, to give 1-2 to two hours of sunlight even if you are growing it indoors. So guys, do grow this stunning tropical beauty in your garden to enjoy its delightful blooms. And with that, we come to the end of this video. 
I hope you found this video useful and informative. Please post your comments and like and share this video and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care and happy gardening.